Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another game day vlog. What an extreme amount of time I've had away from the camera. I'm very, very sorry. It's been a hectic time in my life, but I'm very, very glad to have game day vlogs back now. I will be posting the North Aubrey game where I did get injured soon. I am trying to get all the files sorted out for that and download them onto my computer. It's an extremely large file um, that I have to get, obviously, that's got all the game clips and that sort of stuff in it. That has been a bit of a hustle, but that will be coming out when I did get injured um, at some stage throughout the next couple of weeks. So apologies for that. Um, and apologies for the lengthy delay that we've had in all these game day vlogs. It has been an extremely long time away from the camera, like I said before, and uh, it is good to be back in front of it and um, hopefully bringing you guys some fantastic content for the second half of the year. It's obviously now the first week of August. We're into pretty much the last four games of the season. Um, I would have played the first six or seven games and uh, really enjoyed it. And then obviously had the injury, been out for the last nine weeks with an ankle um, issue, tore my ATFL ligament and then also tore my syndesmosis as well. So um, with that time off was the first time I've really had any time off on the last two to three years of playing footy and obviously playing footy year round, summer league in the NTFL over um, obviously kind of the December, January period as well. Needed a little bit of a break and felt like it was definitely due. So I'm really glad that I took that break and I've come back so refreshed, so recharged. I've completely changed a new, uh, turned a new leaf in my life. I feel so much happier, so much better. Um, as you can see in the background here, we've got a whole heap of new Puma boots rocking. We're about to drive off to Wangaratta. It's about four o'clock on a Friday afternoon. And I'm very, very keen to get uh, back to Wangaratta and see the gents, see the boys, see the girls, see everyone involved in the club. And uh, yeah, it should be a very exciting time. So thank you so much for the support. Um, obviously sticking with me throughout the, the time period where I haven't been posting any footy stuff. Um, apologies for that. But uh, like I said, it's great to be back behind the camera, in front of the camera, whatever you want to call it. And it's good to have game day vlogs back. Let's get it, baby. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it is a Saturday morning. I got up at five, it's now 5.15 a.m. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Uh, yep, game day. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Is it actually gonna be a good day today? It's seven degrees at the moment, so it is not um, a great day just yet. Uh, Wangaratta, looks like it should be okay. Uh, we're obviously playing in Aubrey today. Sunny, beautiful. Top of 15, so it should be a beautiful day. Um, this morning, i uh, got my running shoes on. Gonna go for a quick little jog. Also got my backpack on because I also have a um, towel in there. So I'm gonna go um, with a mate, Brody Paul. I think he's, I don't know, he hasn't messed me back yet, but we agreed last night to go to the, yeah, he has messaged me. Let's get it, baby. You. Can you see that? Yeah, you probably can. We're gonna go um, to the uh, Murray River and uh, we're gonna go dip ourselves in and it's gonna be absolutely freezing. But that's the way I like to start the day and it's the way that I've always liked to start the day, especially if you watch my vlogs last year. And it's something that I've really shied away from a little bit this year. I've got a little bit too comfortable with things that I've been doing and I haven't been waking up early. I haven't been doing, you know, going to the beach, going for that early morning swim like I used to do last year. This year I've just been lazy. It's been, it's really frustrated me, the person that I've that I've become. And, and it wasn't until I had that break that I really could get back to, um, I guess having a having a good hard look at myself and saying, what, what do I need to change? Um, and, and how can I get better? And how can I achieve the things I want to achieve? And I think that that's the, that's the start of it, kind of getting back to, to doing those things um, that challenge your mind every single day. So every day I've gotten up and I've either done an hour on the spin bike or I've gone for a 45 minute run or a 30 minute run or just something to move the body. So quick run this morning and then um, we're gonna go cool off in the freezing cold Murray River. So I'll keep you guys updated. We had a beautiful dinner last night. Um, obviously went for um, a beautiful steak. I think I'll put up the photos here. And then also had uh, a pasta as well which was good, and then a little bit of ice cream to finish, which was um, beautiful. So I got a really, really good feed in. Um, that was the uh, that was the steak, it was beautiful. I'll put it up on the screen. But um, yeah, so it's good to be back. And that's what everyone has to do. We all have to start challenging ourselves a little bit more. It's freezing cold outside. I don't want to do this. This is not fun. It's not enjoyable. 
No one wants to go and jump in the Murray River at freaking seven degrees outside and the Murray River will be negative freaking two degrees. You don't want to do that. It's, it's nothing about that sounds fun to me whatsoever, but it's all about doing things you don't want to do because a lot of time on the footy field, you've got to do things you don't want to do. You've got to run, you've got to be disciplined. You've got to run back with the flight of the ball. You've got to go in hard. Um, you've got, th there's so many different things that you have to do. And it's not just even footy, it's in life. There's things you've got to do that are really, really difficult and you don't want to do them, but sometimes you just got to suck it up and do them. I'm going to be late if I keep talking to you guys. I've got 10 minutes. I've got to be down there. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you guys down there. LFG, baby. Let's get it. BP. Alright, next step I guess. Getting a little bit deeper. <laughs> we just videoed this. But BP dropped the fucking thing. <laughs> it's not gonna be as gold now. It's stuck. Fuck! It's still pretty gold. <sighs> yeah baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh. <coughs> Holy crap, that was absolutely freezing this morning, but it was so good, I enjoyed it so much. I've uh, got to jump in a nice warm shower now, it's about 6.30. And then I uh, might do some push-ups or something just to get the body moving, get the mind moving, and um, yeah, enjoy the day. I actually was reading something very, very funny this morning, guys. This is hilarious. So, I was on um, checking out the, the morning Herald Sun, Lloyd stood down over booze scandal. So Haleybury won their APS school title and then they all went back to like someone's house to have a couple of beers after, as you do after you win a flag with like the coach and everything and there's a few staff members there. And then they stood Lloydy down because he went back and had a few beers after a bloody, they won the APS title. You should be going back and having a bloody beer afterwards. That's what you do, you enjoy it. I think, that maybe there, there might have been underage kids drinking, so maybe that's the issue. But they didn't say that in the article, they just said stood down for going back and having a few beers with his team, with like the team and buddy, with all the parents. The parents all invited him back. So I was like, all the parents, all the students, and the coach having a beer after the game. I'm sorry, that is fine by me. I think that private schools sometimes need to play, have a look at themselves. You're allowed to have a beer after you win a goddamn flag. Have some freaking respect. But that is. I thought that was pretty funny. Let's get in the shower, baby. Let's go. I'm feeling good. It's about 7.30 now in the morning. Look at the day. This is where we get to stay, obviously. Wangrata Gateway. It's an absolutely beautiful hotel. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much rolling through now. About to go get a feed. Big breakfast. I'm hungry as. And I feel like I can eat because I have been doing stuff. So like, I don't feel guilty after I eat. Because I've actually been burning calories already this morning. Hey. Alright, let's have a look. What have we got? One Grand Rovers. Prediction third. Are you happy with that, Wendy? No, no, in the premiership. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, let's lose Frank's out. Let's lose. So, we've got an issue here. Liz Frank is out with a foot fracture. By the looks. I thought Liz Frank was an actual person for the Wayne Grotto Magpies, but it's a bone exactly in your foot, is. so exactly. got a lot to learn. Now let's have a look. Up was the Murray Football League. They've all tipped Aubrey. Good. This is Becky. Scrambled egg. Sado. Hi, what are you up to? Give it up. Hey, it's a little sauce. Thank you. Toes. Let's go up. So this is the room that we've got, and how about the day outside? I wasn't wrong when I said it is going to be a sunny, beautiful day. Um, 
like I said before, this is the room. We've got everything that we need in here. Beautiful TV, beautiful uh, little work area, which I have been working on. Now, I actually might give you guys a little bit of an insight into what I am cooking up at the moment for Prime Online. We've got some new designs that are coming through here. So, won't give too much away, but uh, if you want, you can have a look at that. That is very exciting. Obviously, just got the assortment of everything here. Um, which is good, we've got the bathroom here, and uh, that's the room, so it's a fantastic room, nice and spacious, very, very grateful for the gateway um, rooms. Absolutely fantastic. So, what's the time? I'm not wearing my watch, that's right. Uh, it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock, probably gonna leave around 11, 10.30 maybe, so just gonna get a bit of a stretch in now for, I'll probably be stretched for about 15 minutes, and probably stretch for another 15 more, so. Just get as much um, mobility sort of stuff that I can in. My uh, left leg obviously uh, had the injury on the left ankle. The left leg probably has a little bit less muscle mass because um, I did probably miss three or four weeks there uh, working out or walking even on the left side of my body. So my left calf is um, probably gonna have a little bit less uh, muscle mass than the right. It does have a little bit less muscle mass, but that's okay. We're still trying to build that up, but it, but it does take a lot of time to um, to build that all the way up. So focusing on getting that done, it is a little bit sore, but like I said, that's just because of the uh, the lesser amount of muscle mass and the less amount of strength that is around it. So making sure that I can keep it mobile, hydrated, drinking plenty of water and doing plenty of, um, of, of movement, mobility, yoga, whatever it might be, to continue to, um, to, to make my body uh, Elite. I'm listening to the list cloggers at the moment, uh, pre-game. Don't know why, just I uh, love that body. It's absolutely elite, so um, always give it a little bit of a, a, little bit of a listen, but uh, yeah, that's why I'm a little bit jagged at the moment. But that's okay, let's keep stretching. Yes, sir, it is time for another game day vlog commentary. Aubrey Tigers versus Wangaratta Rovers. It is our second time versing the Aubrey Tigers. And at this time, it is at their home ground, and it is a beautiful home ground. I spent the first eight minutes off the ground, the first eight minutes, because I obviously started on the bench, haven't been playing for a while. So I literally started the first eight minutes off the ground, um, and we barely got the ball like at all. They um, they kicked the first goal, and then every time we went inside 50, we just like didn't end up uh, kicking it to another person wearing a Rovers jumper. They go inside a few times. Here and then they uh, they they get their second goal, um, which was unfortunate. They started well. We knew that they were gonna they were gonna come out hard and they were gonna be a, a really good side. So I think that we just had to combat that. And I was just trying to get myself into the game. It's at the nineteenth minute mark now. <laughs> the ball just <laughs> wouldn't come to me. So I kept trying to get my hands on it, and uh, I was just not not too happy <laughs> with that. But that's all right. Toby was trying to look for me, and and. And I wasn't at any stage, um, you know, worried about that. I was kind of just focusing on what I could focus on. My calf was still really, really sore. And probably my confidence was not, well, obviously just not high at all um, because I was trying to get my hands on the footy and um, get myself off to a good start. But anyway, we get it behind. They kick three and then just on uh, the quarter time siren, they go back and kick a goal. Uh, sorry, kick it behind and... Then at the end of the first quarter, there ends up being a little bit of push and shove that a few people get involved in. I don't really understand why, um, but that's just what happens with footy. When you're down by three goals, 
my focus is not to get into a fight. It's uh, to focus on just getting towards the footy. But as you can see here, there's a little bit of push and shove. Uh, Sam is obviously in the middle of it. He was getting tagged all day. Jace is, uh, is into him as well. So there's a bit of push and shove. It looks like we're fairly heavily outnumbered in that uh, little stash that's going on. So uh, Fuddy's given them a little bit uh, here and there, which is uh, always good. But we end up all walking back to... Um, our sides of the ground to go and uh, get our quarter time uh, talking to. After quarter time, we come out. Boydie goes bang with a beautiful little kick and it hits the Ibis Toby Murray on a beautiful lead who goes back from 40 to kick our first goal of the game. And unfortunately, it does just slide off to the right. So it doesn't actually register a goal for us. And then they go down the other end pretty much uh, in the next play. And uh, George Hall and Smith, obviously, um, you know, ex-AFL player uh, goes back and uh, kicks a very nice goal. And he was um, definitely someone that we needed to have a pretty hard, long look at because he is a superstar player. Um, even though he spent a long time out of the game, he's come back and uh, still has that class. And then they go back and kick their fifth as well. So five minutes into the second quarter, we are not looking very good. I've just come on really, um, to be honest. So um, I've, I've been like off the ground a lot. Sam comes through here. Sam Murray goes bang with a massive fend off. Has a shot for our first goal and just slides again to um, to the behinds. And we get a chance here, dive on the ball, and Deal Wilson gets him holding the ball, which is awesome. So Deal gets to go back for our first goal and also misses. So we've kicked zero goals four, which is no good at all. Um, and we, we kind of start to... Move the ball here forward. Um, Lockie McCartney goes over the top to Alma Fudd. And now Fuddy goes back from, from a very similar spot to where Dill was and goes bang with a snap from 10 metres out directly in front. Go figure. Um, and then we start to get a bit of a run on. And I think that this all just come from, uh, I guess, just trying to move the ball forward. There wasn't too much um, method to, to what we are doing. Get it forward. And we can score. Dill Wilson kicks the ball as far as possible. Now, it's 11 minutes through the second quarter. Ladies and gents, I still have not touched the ball. Zero. Zero touches at this current time period, which is um, not too good. But uh, we'll focus on the rest of the game. We get, again, just pressure, pressure, pressure. The ball just flips out. Elijah goes with a left foot dribbler and kicks a goal. So we're now 15 minutes in to the, I get a tackle. I get a tackle, which is good. Uh, maybe a pressure act. We might not even call a tackle. 15 minutes into the second quarter. So we've almost played half the game. But my mentality here is it's a challenge. It, I'm not down in the dumps. I'm not having a cry. It's okay. I'm just focusing on getting, you know, doing what I can for the team. Here we go. First touch. Come on. 16 minutes into the second. And uh, I'm into the game. It, it was gonna, I knew it was going to take me a little while to get into the game. Uh, but once I was in it, I, I, I knew that I'd be okay. So Philo goes with a nice kick here to me, and I'm looking up at what I can kick long to. I probably could have hit a nice short one to Lockie McCartney, but it's difficult. There were so many uh, defenders. Unfortunately, they get a spoil. I couldn't uh, couldn't find anyone. Get the handball out here, and this is all within two or three minutes. So now I'm really starting to feel like I'm I'm in the game, um, and it did take a little while for for me to get my um get my confidence up. But I knew that once it was up, we'd be all right. Fuddy here gets a free kick for a block, and he goes back and goes bang, beautiful by the Fud man, and that puts us back. Within a goal, which is fantastic because we were really struggling early on and um, we've really pulled that back. And I think that just is a testament for everyone just playing their game, playing their role. Um, get the ball here, try to get a handball out, but tackled, so no good. And um, it was just good, the physicality, you know, I'm around it. I get another couple of tackles here, so I'm just around around where the ball is. Um, obviously went up onto that wing Wing roll, um, which was much better. And then in the last couple of minutes, come back to play more of a uh, forward slash deeper forward roll. You can see me there in the background, just running um, that pattern back towards goal. Obviously started as a high half forward and then ran that pattern back to goal. Now, if you actually look where I marked the ball, I marked it in the goal square. I literally mark it in the goal square. And he has put me, if you actually go back and have a look at where I marked it, if you rewind this, I marked it dead set in the goal square, and he's put me on the angle, but it didn't matter. That's my first goal, baby, and I'm back into this game, and I'm feeling very, very happy about that. 
It just takes a little one or two things. And I've gone almost 40 minutes without getting a touch of the ball. And then all of a sudden, I've had about eight touches in the space of um, eight minutes, pretty much. And then the ball comes out here, pick it up. And I knew straight away when I picked it up, I thought I was just going to go for goal. And uh, I, I knew I knew what I was trying to do. <laughs> and it uh, luckily came off and um, went straight through the big sticks. I would have loved to have had a camera there with um, with all the young kids on the um, <laughs> on the sideline, which was pretty funny. So ended up uh, kicking the goal. We'll get the replay while we're tired. But, uh, yeah, as soon as I picked it up, I, I knew what I was doing. I knew where I was going to go. Look at Jazzy Lewis, number 20. He's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> How's that happened? Um, but that was good and put us up by, uh, by a goal. And then Elijah Amory, almost on the stroke of half time, goes back and kicks another one, and that puts us up by two goals. So it gives us a really nice little buffer. I'm working hard here again, another, uh, another few touches, just trying to get it forward for the team, doing what I can, uh, working up and working back as well. So I'm up on the back flank, I'm you know, in the goal square. That's all work rate, and that's where it all comes from. You know, you just got to be working all the time to try and get backwards and forwards. So Half time happens, we go in, we get a little bit of a break, which is all good. Jack Gerrish goes inside 50 in the first couple of minutes. I just get a little bit of a push off on my man and come back and take the mark, which was good. So, um, yeah, I think that that's all about just protecting the drop zone. If you're, if the ball is going to drop there, um, you can just hold off your opponent, not engage in any real kind of wrestling contact, uh, and just focus on um, getting that little push off. Fuddy's just saying this is. This is why we picked you because um, you can kick goals. So that's uh, the important thing. And go back, slot it, and I'm very, very happy with that one as well. Um, so, yeah, we, we're kind of just moving along here. Jussie gets a handball out to me, and I try and just punch it forward, but um, didn't really get too much onto it, get pushed straight into the Aubrey Tigers bench, but straight back up. And, and my body is feeling good. I, I missed a lot of the first half, actually, to be honest just on the be- on the bench but we had two blokes go down and I said like my body feels fine it's absolutely fine like I'm 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 all right to keep going this number one I don't actually know his name but he's a very good player um kicked a very nice goal there but then Fuddy just too strong look at that for a grab goes back and uh kicks a goal he got a 50 meter penalty for some umpire abuse and uh he was very happy with that Fuddy goes inside 50 try to make a contest it's one on three here but that's all right ball comes out go to ground probably didn't need to go to ground there probably could have kept my feet but that's okay get the ball out to fuddy fuddy makes me look good goes inside will christie is there can't quite grab it. it's a fantastic ball dill wilson gets out of a tackle i think he's snapping for goal here to be honest i wanted the handball back didn't matter will christie gets the ball and he's gonna go back and kick a nice little snag now he was no good at half time will christie said he was too sore but come out after half time and kicked the goal, which was good to see. Toby, the Ibis Murray, uh, is looking down the line. I was like, just kick it, just put it near me, and I will do something. And I did, got it over the top to Al McCarthy with a nice little over the head look away handball. And uh, it's always good. Me and Toby are always linking up. He's my brother. We're always working in the gym a couple of times a week. It's good to see his progression over the year. He's an absolute superstar, fantastic player. Um, as is many of these people in this league and especially in this team. Uh, Aubrey now are, are behind by a little bit and um, they do start to get a little bit of a run on here. They get a point, they get a goal, they start to roll through and they really start to get on top of us. Here, number 13 goes for a shot, just misses to, to the near side, but we get it out and then it's just a repeat entry, high tackle. He goes to handball it off. Interesting decision to handball it off. Shuddy almost grabbed him, but ended up kicking a goal anyway. And now Aubrey are really starting to kind of breathe down our necks, I guess. And uh, this was a very important centre clearance. Got it inside 50. Ended up getting spoiled by my own man, but that's okay. We roll it through and uh, we get a repeat stoppage. Now, that's so important. Getting repeat stoppages inside 50 can be incredibly important. We get a punch out here. I grab it and get a couple of high tackles, probably from both ends. And um, it was good, actually, because I was doing a lot of set shots before the game from this exact position and from this end. And it gives you a lot of confidence when you have been doing um, set shots from the same end and all of them pre-game were going in. So my mindset right now is I 
oh, I'm going to kick this. I'm going to kick this. That's the only thing that's going through my head. There's never, there's not a shadow of doubt going through it. Keep my body in line, nice and straight, and it goes straight through the middle. And I was very happy with that as well. Um, but if your mentality before you go to kick it is it is more positive than it is negative, you're you're going to have a lot easier time um, kicking a goal. Ball comes out here, try to pressure, try to pressure. If if the ball's not in my hands, pressuring is the most important thing that I can do, unfortunately. Um, they do get one back here. And again, they kind of get that run back on and they go one, two, and we just couldn't lock it down. Again, they go three. We could not lock it down. This is all within the space of about five minutes. And then they go four just on the stroke of three-quarter time. George Hall and Smith goes bang and they've kicked four goals in a row in five minutes and we did not lock it down and that was very 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 frustrating because we should have had the ability to lock it down but that's all right we go um we go into three quarter time down the um the the kids are loving it at three quarter time now we are three men down at this stage we've pretty much lost um yeah lost most of our team but that's all right pretty much the game plan is to take it on risk it all and, and get it forward and um, that was that was the plan. I'm in around the stoppage a little bit more now. Get around a couple, give it to Gerrish. Gerrish goes around one, gets it inside 50. Not the greatest kick, but Fudd was close to it. But again, we, we're looking for those repeat stoppages. So uh, another repeat stoppage here was good, but unfortunately, ah, the Tigers end up getting the ball back and go down the other end. They miss their first shot, but then their second shot that goes straight through the middle, which is not good. And this number 24 gets into Gerrish. I don't know. It's like it's about a 12 on one here for Gerrish, poor bloke. So you don't like to see that. And um, the Paddy Murray and that come in to fly the flag a little bit. It's just, I don't know. You don't need to be fighting too much. The, the umpire's the umpire's not happy there as well. Anyway, they get the um, we get the clearance here. The ball comes in, get an opportunity here. Toby, I wanted the hairball, but he went on the left foot, and I actually don't mind it because he pro- it was very very close to being a goal, but I did want it there. Al McCarthy gets a fifty meter penalty, goes bang and kicks a nice little snag, which we're very very happy with. And then we're down by five points. Fuddy goes for a handball over the top. To Barodi Philo, who takes a bounce, one bounce, two bounce from 50. What's going on here? Looks like he's missing to the far side, but no. He gets an off-break wrong and bounce, and it goes through for a goal, and that puts us up by a point. Brody Philo goes for a victory lap. He's an absolute superstar, and it is 16 minutes through in the last quarter. I try to push my man out here, does well to hold, and then that's called holding the ball. I thought that could have been in the back. Geez, these decisions sometimes they they can they can be everything. They can mean everything. Sam gets takes a great grab here, just strong hands, gets it inside fifty to myself and Fuddy and Juzzy Lewis. The ball comes out. My man tries to soccer it. Luckily, get a good bounce. Go on the left foot. Look for someone. Doesn't get anyone. Go for a candy one, two. Take a bounce. Shouldn't have probably taken the bounce, but that's okay. Kicks it inside of Bro Boydy. Can't quite get it, and it's a turnover. God damn it. It was a two-on-one in the goal square. It was a terrible kick. I should have been better in it. That, uh, that's, that, that's, that haunts me. This should have been deliberate out of bounds. I can't believe that it wasn't paid. They, they do not pay deliberate out of bounds in this league. It's very, 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 very frustrating. I do not understand why they don't pay deliberate. I'm so confused. I'm like, why do we not pay deliberate out of bounds? Anyway... Can't just focus on what you can control, and uh, you can't control that, unfortunately, at the end of the day. They get inside 50, and they get a mark, and then they kick a goal. Not good. Not good. And then he's just given it to our players. I mean, come on. And then we've lost another player, Lucky McCartney. He's gone down with a head knock, I think, concussion. And they end up getting a, a few more opportunities, and uh, and they take their opportunities and uh, that's, yeah, that's two goals up in the 23rd minute mark, and then they've kicked another one. So they're up by three, and they just get up a little bit. Toby goes to me inside 50. Not quite, just wasn't quite the kick, and um, couldn't really do anything with it, unfortunately. Like myself, I should, it should have been better. And then pressure, pressure, pressure. Fuddy could have handballed out to me on the side, but goes for a high tackle. And... Uh, that's all she wrote, unfortunately. 
Um, so we had our opportunities. We had our chances. We just didn't quite uh, get the chocolates in the end. There's a bit of fighting or something, I think, over here. Just shake the hands at the end of the day. I think, guys, don't need to be fighting after the siren. But anyway, um, that's how it ends. We, we go down by three goals. It was, a, it was a good game. It was a cracking game. Um, they're, they're obviously second on the ladder. We're, we're fourth, so they probably are the better side. But um, we got some work to do, and we're, we're not going to shy away from it. And we've got three more games, and uh, we're going to focus on next week against Wodonga. Thank you. What have we got out here? <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> Good morning everyone, it is Sunday morning out here, just driven back to Melbs. Beautiful drive. It's 7 a.m. in the morning, and we're here at Port Melbourne. We're about to go for a swim. Um, I think I'm going to leave my camera here. I'll just bring my phone down. But uh, yeah, yesterday was was good. Um, it was good to get back on the park. I think that we we played really really well um, as a team. You know, we went down by three goals in the end, but they're a really good side. So um, can't win them all at the end of the day. And I um, think that we put in a very encouraging performance, so I'm, uh, I'm really glad. Um, obviously, my recovery today, um, I'm going to do some grounding. Grounding is basically um, just walking on earth with no shoes on. Something we don't really do that much anymore. If you want to see a little bit more about grounding, it's uh, definitely good to search it up. Um, puts more positive ions onto your body and also reduces inflammation, so it's good to just stand on some grass. Um, stretch on some grass, do whatever you want to do for uh, 10 to 15 minutes, walk around on grass. Might sound a little bit wicky-wacky, hippie, but um, it, is, it is good and um, one person that does do it every day is Erling Haaland. If you don't know Erling Haaland, he's probably the best soccer player in the world right now. Um, so yeah, definitely a good thing to have a look at. <clears throat> Gonna go and obviously swim um, in the ocean as well, probably get 15, 20 minutes swimming, which would be absolutely lovely. The water is so flat at the moment. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty cold out here, but I feel feel good. And again, it's going back to doing those things that you don't want to do. And I, I don't want to jump into the ocean. I'd rather go home and have a nice warm shower and have a beautiful morning. Um, but that's not the way that I want to live my life. And that might be the way that you want to live yours or not the way you want to live yours. Either or, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me, but if I can change a few people's lives here and there, I'd be really happy. Obviously, what I've been doing this week, um, a few things, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Again, today, I haven't missed a single day, seven days in a row. I've been focusing on getting eight hours sleep. That has been around six to seven. I need to improve on that and get eight hours. That's gonna be a big focus for next week. Working out twice a day, every single day. Um, I've also been following a, a, a diet um, as well. So. Probably a few things that I've that I've changed throughout my life that I've felt so much better doing, um, and just has completely changed my perspective on it, on everything. Um, like I said at the start of the video, it was really good to get that break, um, but now I'm back. I'm good to go. I'm going to make sure that I get the North Albury game done, which was the game that I did get injured in. I promise that is coming, and that will be out soon. That is on the um, it's a, it's on the things to do. Obviously, I'm. I've got a lot of other things to do, so it does keep me quite busy, but hopefully I can get that to you guys this, um, hopefully this week. I'm also going to be doing weekly vlogs of just training, recovery, everything that I eat in a week, um, which I think that you guys will really enjoy, so I'm probably going to release that um, on the Friday, and hopefully um, people can get around that and really start to enjoy that and, and see how different that my lifestyle has become and how, how different my lifestyle is. Apart from that, that's probably a wrap. I'm going to go jump in the ocean and get some cold bloody water therapy and get that recovery in. Thank you for um, sticking around and listening to this little monologue. Thanks for watching the vlog so far. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all of you support. Hopefully this vlog does well. Always 
Um, the return ones usually, usually do quite well, so fingers crossed. It's good to be back, baby. Sorry I've been away for so long, but I feel so much happier, so much healthier. It's just good to be back. Love you, baby. Let's go get some water. Guys, look at the water. It's so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. It actually looks so nice. I'm so happy right now. This is not though, nice. this is not nice on my feet at all. Let's go. Beautiful. We're back home. Nice and warm. Back in my jackets. Ladies and gents, that's gonna be a wrap for the very first vlog back from injury. I hope that you guys enjoyed plenty of messages throughout this vlog. Um, obviously my main message that I hope that you guys have picked up, picked up on is to challenge yourself in whatever you do. I challenged myself this weekend to actually play against the Aubrey Tigers. Um, it was a very difficult challenge um, and I could have easily come back in, in a few more weeks against an easier team but I really did put my hand up and say I, I, I want to accept the challenge and I want to go against the Tigers and, and I definitely want to play and um, you know there's, there's countless challenges that I've had to overcome throughout this, um, this weekend, um, the last few weeks. Obviously um, there's, yeah, there's countless to be honest but um, but also challenges that you set yourself, you know, going and having a swim in the um, in the river in the in the early morning um, before the sun's even come up, having no touches in the first quarter. That's uh, another challenge that I've managed to overcome. Like there's all these things in life that are going to hit you, and it's um, the most important thing ever to be able to overcome them, um, or at least try to overcome them. And if you fall short, that's okay. At least you can sleep at night. Um, with a sense of fulfillment, I think, and that's the most important thing. So, hope that you guys have really enjoyed this vlog, um, and it's good to be back producing them. Sorry it's been such a long time away, but I did need it, and um, hopefully it just left you guys salivating for a little bit more vlog action. So, we will be back, and we will be grinding these vlogs definitely over the next um, couple of months, couple of years, I guess. They're just gonna keep on continuing. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you all. And remember to stay sexy. Let's go.